So look, bro. To catch a predator. Y'all with, look, probably like the last two weeks, y'all been hounding me, bro. We need more catch a predator videos. Catch a predator, catch a predator. I'm like, I got you, I got you. And then I was lying because I didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? I had so much other stuff I want to do. And y'all got to remember, I got four channels. And that's another thing about one of my channels, my vlog channel. I'm back over there heavy. I said heavy. I'm back over there heavy like every day or every other day. Get over there. Um, it's, it's something different. Y'all ain't seen. You know what I'm saying? Link in the description. Other than that, these videos right here, I know this why they dope to me. You know what I'm saying? A lot of other videos I do on this channel, it's kind of questionable. I'll be like, I wonder did they set this up? I wonder is this fake? I wonder with these Catch a Predator videos. I know they 100% real for the simple fact that I done Googled some of the names of the people they caught before and they had got real life cases. They've been in jail or are still in jail. You know what I'm saying? It just, and that's what I tell y'all about kids, bro. Now today, since two kids turned into two million kids at the age of 12 and 11 got phones, that makes it seem like it's normal, but no kid should be able to get on the internet and, 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 talk to anybody in the world if they want to if your kid got an instagram a twitter a facebook a snapchat <clears throat> that means one of these dudes can go ahead and slide in their dms with no filter no nothing you're giving all your trust to 11 year old and hoping they'll say mom i'm going to timmy house hey mom i'm finna go to michael house you hoping they telling the truth because your kids since you raised them, bro, they been feeling that love for you. Look, they been feeling that love from you forever. All the way until they 11 and 12, they know that you love them. But once they get somebody outside the house to love them on a, in a sensual way, like, come on, man. Whatever you say, let me tell you something. On my kids. This girl I used to mess with. She's a daddy's girl. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> um, I think it was probably like after four or five months of dating her. He was like, look, bro. He taught me straight up. Like, look, my daughter loves you. You know what I'm saying? I know she loves me, but you don't want us having sex with her every night. You know what I'm saying? You the one she loves. Y'all having fun times, good times talking on the phone. So even though I'm her daddy, she going to listen to you first. And that was real to me. You know what I'm saying? I never really looked at life. That's why I don't want no daughter. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, once they get that love with somebody really liking them instead of that parent love, they're going to go in on that. That is, bro. But I ain't finna hold y'all no longer. We finna watch this, this creep. You know what I'm saying? Not all the predators I catch are interested in young girls. Some, like this guy in the bright orange shorts, lust for young boys. Man. Man, he just walked in there all free. How you doing today? And on this sunny autumn day... My house is your house. He's coming to meet a boy who he thinks just turned 13. So where do you want to go? Whoa. This one is different. You know what I'm saying? Usually we do it when you got the male out there trying to get him a little 13-year-old, 12-year-old girl, bro. 14-year-old. Now we got the... How did I find this video? I don't know, and I don't even care. We finna... What? Want a water or something? He should probably take a sip, because in a moment, he's gonna meet me. Right. His name is Jesse Velez. Oh, he's 28 sucks. years old, right his screen mouth, name bro. is Jose. He's engaged, and he's a general you manager engaged. at a major sandwich shop chain. But Velez has... So is he engaged to a male or a female? We gotta know this. Because if you ain't get, we got to know what it is. Something else planned for today's menu. It's kind of nervous. Nervous? I know, I am too. Velez is the latest creep I've caught in our That's special investigative segment, Hanson vs. Predator. In our sting house in Fairfield, Connecticut, we place more than a dozen hidden cameras to capture every move. What I want you to do is, is let, you know, let him see you. The blue is going to take away from your face. Right. So when he pulls up, just come out and then go, oh, I forgot my jacket. 
The Fairfield cops coordinate the sting operation with the predator watchdog group Tetrid Corps. Right in the Tetrid garage. posted a right pic of a real 13-year-old boy on social media. We're hiding the... This is so crazy to me, bro. This is what I mean by if you got kids, you got one of these dudes can easily slide up in their DM. And I promise you, the reason why they call them predators, the reason why they call them predators... Because they online all day and they be calling off work sometimes all day and night looking for your daughter and your son. I'm going to give him space. I want him to grow up. Give him a phone. I trust him. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. The boy's identity for his protection. Within 20 minutes, Velez contacts the boy we're calling Jason. He tells Velez he's turning 13 in a week. You okay that I'm younger? Yes. Like, 13 years old, younger, LOL. Never chilled with a young guy before. He really Velez talking to him like that's somebody he cracked the, the sex club. acts he wants to perform. He even sent a pic of his private parts and asked the boy to send him nude photos. But if that isn't shocking enough, what he asks for next will make Who you sick. Who is this dude? Come live with me, LOL. You're kidding, right? No, LOL. How are you going to explain a 12-year-old kid living with you? I won't. No one won't find out. Velez doesn't know. But y'all just say he ain't gay, so was he lying about the engagement? Or is he really up here trying to run? Bro, you running game on a 12 year old boy? These are, look, these are the type of people I'll be like, they be like, ghost, it don't matter. Everybody deserves a second chance. Nah, these are the people I'll be like, yeah. He don't deserve to live. You know what I'm saying? He don't. I don't care. They always want to go deeper into it. But what if he was a victim? What if he was traumatized as a child and he grew up? That's all he... And that don't fly with me. When you're 28 years old, you know what you're not supposed to be doing. I don't care how traumatized. I don't care how much of a victim you was at 13 and 14. Once you turn 28, you know you ain't supposed to be doing this. So, yeah, he can... You know what I'm saying? For all I care know it but there's no kid on the other end of the smartphone it's really a woman named Lori and he knows absolutely that I'm 13 yeah that you're 13 Lori is one of the operatives working for Tetrid Core she's giving detectives the text messages she exchanged with Velez well, she's just going through and getting all of my screenshots so that she can provide that to uh, local PD so that they can have the probable cause yeah. for arrest and then um the problem she's gonna call, let's see know the laws and everything bro in our control room lori receives word that they got to do it like this so i'll be probably called for the arrest he says uh let's get lunch my treat i said okay when he said in a few i said okay let me know so i can get showered she briefs our on-site decoy a 19 year old drama student who is pretending he's 13 that's so the decoy will know how to act you hungry yeah where do you want to go doesn't matter to me I'm not really hungry, I just ate. No. So why are you asking me? So you want to stay here? No, not really. You don't want to stay here? Did you want to, what do you want to do after? What did you go? Oh boy, kind of know it's a setup, but his sick mind won't give him the wherewithal to just go ahead and leave. His mind is making him stay there. He's Mm -mm -mm. This, we too nice over here in the U.S., you know what I'm saying? Because they need to really burn these types. They do. Yeah, you know, Netflix, chill. Yeah. This is going to be a weird question, but you have your ID on you? I don't have an ID on me. Sorry, I'm only 13. My mom keeps having her purse. Who lives here? Who lives here? Oh, well, I live here. You know somebody lying. Me, my mom. You know somebody lying. That's how you know they got to think of a lie. If I ask you who live here, and he was like, who lives here? Oh, me and my mom. My mom keep my ID in her purse. Then again, his mind won't even let him pick up on none of this. You know what I'm saying? It won't. And I'm happy they do got stings and traps like this, so we can't get them up out of here. And to be real, jail ain't enough. I'm going to keep on reiterating that. And I said it right this time. Huh. But look, I'm going to keep reiterating that because, yeah, bro, they, they jail just ain't enough. And then they give them a day to get out. And then you can parole after doing something like this. But let this happen to one, one of the judge kid or the police son. You know what I'm saying? Keep him in there. And he would have been done stayed in there. You know what I'm saying? Mommy and my daddy. 
Uh oh. Velez looks straight at one of our hidden cameras. The decoy moves into distraction mode. Did you want to come look at this? This right here. This is my dad made this. Oh, he did? Yeah. Pretty cool. You want to come look at it? What Velez doesn't realize is that he's being moved into position for what will be the surprise of his life. Hey, what's happening? Nothing. What was your plan today? Nothing, actually. Just to hang out. Just to hang Nothing, out. Yeah. actually. With a 13-year-old boy. Yeah. Who you sent a picture of your private parts. No, I did it. I did? Yes. Ugh. Bro! Bro! Don't tell me you finna sit up here and try to make a scene like I tried to send that to my wife. I tried to send that to my girl. That ain't even finna fly. This was on... Ugh. Now that I kind of think of it, I know somebody just like that look just like this fool. I'm gonna beat him up. <laughs> Swear to God, we can't find a real. We finna get the uh, we finna get the knock off. We finna uh, get the rapper, right. the duplicate, yeah. the duplicate. You know, we, we, I was just chatting with him on and off for weeks. Yeah, I used to chat like random people on and off. I'd hang out with them. No, nothing's really sexual to be honest. Nothing sexual. No. What's this? Sir? How you, you know see? we were talking about that? He want to see how much evidence they got. Uh, I did not know I even sent that. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that. Who was right? Yeah, he just want to send a picture. Like, I have a bunch of pictures of me. Right. So I must have hit that, but I didn't really know why. So this was just I told you he was going to try to make a scene like it. Pretty much, yeah. So you had a picture of yourself out about town. Because you was like, usually I meet car. car. Yeah, like, usually I meet. I will never, ever, ever get, never, ever, ever get when Chris Hansen walks out. Why do people feel like they got to sit there and explain why they there, bro? You already caught. As soon as you see him, try to get up out the house. For one, he just wants you to wait. He want to see how sick you are. That's why uh, Chris Hansen is there so he can talk to you. For two, um, no matter what you tell him, he can't get you more time or less time. The police there to, is, look, the police there to arrest you, and the DA, the district attorney, is there to go ahead and get your time and present that to court. I want him to get this much time. I'll, I will never get why people sit there and talk to Chris Hansen. Oh, oh, I'm sure you get square. Square. Yeah, because I didn't even know because I would even say like something afterwards, but I didn't even know I really sent that, to be honest. What is lying? Honestly, I know it's for hookups. I really do know that, but I don't, I'm not all for that. I don't just meet people randomly and just start having sex with random people. That's not what I do. I just like to have oh, a with me. I'm like kind of a, how you say, um, I never really had friends when I was younger. Right. So I like to hang out with people, you know, you can get to know them, get to know them a little bit. You know, that's about it. You know? So basically what you're telling me and everybody else is that you know people when you was younger. So you grew up and you need friends. You're trying to, you know what I'm saying? I want to kick it with new friends. But your new friend is 13. So basically what you're saying, because I know if I kick it with somebody, I want their maturity level to be up on mine. Around the same age range, you know what I'm saying? That's how I am, bro. With this, that little dude is a kid. You're 28. You mean to tell me you have a mind of a 13-year-old? You mean to tell me you can learn something from this 13-year-old? What can you do by kicking it with him? He can't relate to you in no kind of way at all. Except that y'all living on the same day. What's today? August August 8th? Yeah. August 9th? That's the only thing y'all got in common is I'm here right now and you here right now. That's it. It's full lying. The worst of the worst. You know, I meet people from me that 13, 17, 18, 30, even to their 40s, just to meet people and talk to them. And how old are you? I'm actually 27. Not true. At the time of our confrontation, Velez had just turned 28. But you see how this looks for you to come over and well, you go a year younger. Boy yeah, you I, he went a year younger, like that makes it even that. better, even though. Even when I came here, I'm 27. No, I, I understand where you're coming from, but even when I came here, you can tell he's trying to be presentable to the little boys. He ain't got no sideburns, no beard, and no mustache. And you see how dark it is right there? So that means he saved all that off for that day. And he saved it that morning. That That is too clean. It's way too... I, man, that is crazy to me. Even when I parked there, I was just like, oh, this is, even when I sat there, I was like, yeah, this first time I did, like, met someone at someone's house. I felt kind of... Nervous when coming Looks to a like house, the, uh, you just said, what's me at a public place was more safer tire, for me. Man. That way, just in case I'm a little person. Man. 
But that's why even when I came, I actually yeah, tried to fuck with a part for a lot of I was like, I should be going to this person's house. I mean, I never you really, did yeah, I did. I, I, to, uh, why did you do it? You got it's rose in his knees. Me. I never did that. You, you got rose in your, your wrist. wrist. Yeah. It's my first time. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure yeah. I doubt that all the people who tell me it's their first time are telling the truth. This is. Honest to death. So you're the first honest is, guy I've ever this, found. Honest this to is death. I ain't never even heard what of that. This is the first time I met a, a young person that age. It's the first time ever in history. It's crazy that everybody that get caught up says they first time. All of y'all lying. <laughs> it's no way your first time meeting up with somebody is in the same situation. Like y'all all met Chris Hansen y'all first time. What they say with a female? She say. How many how many people you 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 had sex with in your life? Four. She really had twelve. His first time, he really did it like ten times. It's just your first time getting caught. That's what they be forgetting to put at it. This my first time getting caught. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They said to this my first time getting caught. There's nothing such was gonna happen anyway from the get go. Remember, he sent graphic texts including pictures of his private parts. After you sent him a picture. And I didn't, realize, I, I didn't realize I sent that. You can look at all my conversations. I did not realize I sent that kind of picture. Even when we were chatting, I never said, oh, hey, do you want to have sex? Because that's just not the kind of person I am. I don't want to throw myself out there like that. That's oh, you not don't? I am. Are you not? But if you were his parents, are you going to be comfortable? I have a 16-year-old friend. I do. Yes, I do. That's a pretty big age gap. It is. It is big, but, at this state. But you know what? But there's a be lying. Because to be honest, I have friends that are 16. To why? 30 why? Why are we even? You know, there's you no stuff involved. I don't do any drugs. But we all just conversate. We, I mean, there's so many similarities from all different people. It doesn't matter about age to me. You know, some some people look at it as more like a, like a pedophile thing or something like that. But that's not what I am. You know, I don't go around looking for. You're not a pedophile. Let me tell you this. I got my, I've been having my sisters, my brother, my aunties, family members, uh, uh, contacts, plugs, all that in my phone. And I promise you, I ain't never sent the pic of my swipe to the weed man on accident. Like, oh my bad, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I bet to sit, you know what I'm saying? And then he did that two times. He, fin he sent the picture, then the other text. I ain't never accidentally sent the text to my sister like, "What's up, baby? Can we meet up?" No, you're lying. You too. You like forty for forty on the lies right now. You ain't making no sense. For, you know, 10 at year all, old, thirteen year olds. No, that's not who I at am. At all. That's and not fact, exactly. But you I see am. how this looks. Yeah, and I wasn't. I wasn't even. I something told me don't walk through that door. I swear, something told me. Do not well, why'd do you that do it? Then? I don't know. I wasn't gonna walk through that door. Your, your sick mind. And thank you for this actual experience, actually, because uh, it's pretty interesting, actually. Jesse Velez may be taking back his gratitude in just a few moments. He's the submarine sandwich loving guy who tried to hook up with a 13 year old boy and got caught. Take a seat right over there. Yeah. I'd rather meet at a sandwich shop, at a Starbucks, just so we can sit down and conversate. It's nothing really sexual or ordinary. Do you live by yourself? No, I live with my three dogs. I thought he was engaged. Well, we've been running in. I thought they said he was engaged during okay. my trip. Called Hanson versus Predator. Okay. And I'm Chris Hanson. Okay. And you've walked into it. Okay. So if there's anything else you want people to know, I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm not. Um, I'll just see little kids. I'm not. That's not who I am. That's not who I am. Honestly, that's not who I am. Yes, it is, bro. You there? That's not me. And how you live with your dogs? Now, do look like you got on the marriage ring. Ha! He said, my dogs, when, if your wife see this, is she still with you? She needs to go ahead and with you, bro. We don't care about her either. Can you take the cameras off me, please? No. Can I leave? You can leave right out there. Um, Why are you asking him, can you okay. leave? You're a grown man. It's very awkward and very embarrassing for me. Um, I'll talk to him in private, if you like. I can't turn the cameras off. Okay. I mean, I'll answer any questions for you, to be honest, because I'm not... This, you have. This is not. This is not what 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 it what it seems to be. This is not what it was going. But it to be. is though. So I want everyone to know that's actually seen right now. It's not what it was. I'll just I'll have to hang out with somebody. Nothing sexual to that nature. Um, it may seem to other people it was. But you think you're really trying to talk yourself up out of this, <laughs> bro? Have you not seen this show before? The emails and you linking up 
it's automatically enough probable cause for you to go to jail. Why are you trying to make us like you right now? Because we don't. You cannot talk yourself up out of this one. You're going to jail. And when you get out, everybody going to know it because you're going to have to register as one of them. It's not. Because <laughs> um, if, if it was to that standard, I would have actually texted the guy, hey, let's meet and let's do this, let's do that. But it wasn't. I'm very... You, you know, did. You did more. You sent him a pic. Blunt, your so sweat. I, I, nothing, was sexual to that, nothing sexual to that nature. Um, but to be honest, I can't learn my lesson right now. I'm not going to my house. I'm Where the police I'm at? I'm walking to no one's house ever again. This is the first and last time we're doing that. You going to jail? First and last time. What's the lesson here? Jose? The lesson here is... Uh, don't walk into no one's house that you don't know who actually even lives there. That's that's to be honest. Don't do the same thing to other people that you wouldn't want done to you. You know, would you but want you did someone it, though? When I came out, I was bored today. <laughs> he is really trying to talk himself up out of this. This is crazy to me, bro. Chris Hansen looking like <laughs> you just don't know how I get in on her, bro. <laughs> you said all this so we can have you on record for you to say this not how you get down and we got to record it we're gonna play that first for you to say this is your first time they're gonna find other cases and then you're gonna say you didn't meant to do nothing with him but go to starbucks that's when they gonna pull out that pic of your little shrimp your shrimpled up uh with your little nub you know how to <laughs> little wife be like i can't feel like that that's why he tried to yeah, hey, um, I didn't know what to do. I was ever hang out with some people. How about watching football? I'm not a sports person, believe it or not. Yeah, Don't we know that. Watching Netflix. I was, yeah, I was. It was just today was just a day that just you know what? Let's just go hang out with my real quick. Let's hang out, you know. Um, nothing sexual though. I'm not looking for that. I'm never ever doing this ever again. Why do you keep on else. reiterating There's that? Nothing bad out of this. He's smiling as he leaves. Could he be thinking he just dodged a bullet? Not quite. Yeah, he do. Oh, where's the exit? Right there. Oh, where's the exit? You know which way you came in. Was it September 15th? Yeah. 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 You're going to jail. Okay. Okay. Our garage cam captures the arrest by the Fairfield cops. Yes, he is. Velez appears to be shocked that he was busted. The cops put him in the back seat of an unmarked police car. As they speed toward police headquarters, he's still trying to talk his way out of trouble. I told you. I never even, I never even heard of Velez is hauled into the station where he's booked, fingerprinted, and photographed. Ah! <laughs> Go ahead and cry one time. Just, just give us the holy grail, now, please. Detectives who are because I know them types. Take a seat. This is so crazy. Yeah. All because you want to sit down. down in the green plastic chair in the police interrogation room. Oh, I'm done. It's clearly uncomfortable, especially when your hands are cuffed behind your back. Mm -hmm. After an agonizing five minutes, the detectives unlock the hardware, and Velez is ready to unleash an explanation. I don't want to talk to you. He sighs as he's about to sign away his right to remain silent. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> You know, I've been a cop for uh, 19 years. I'll be honest, whatever, I'll be okay. honest. But if you're, if we're gonna say like... He is you know, really trying to make, make people like him. Out, it's, I really uh, was it's, a I'm gonna question the, the veracity yeah. of that. I know, I know how it I, was. I, I, I know, I was not going to his house to literally have sex with him in, in, in his house. I was not going to do that. That day? He's gonna try no. to take him out no, on a game, a uh, date. I mean, and they gave him up on that website. Numerous so people on that website would go okay. hang out, and I actually still talk to people from that website that I actually made friends with. Mm -hmm. I don't have any friends. I have no friends. You Literally. Have a fiance, don't you? Yeah, I do, but we don't see each other as much as we used to. Okay. I mean, he works a lot. I work a lot. I know some people look at me. Oh, so he just gay. I was wondering if a boy, if he was married to a dude or a female. That's. That's, that, this is, like, this okay, is you different. go to this guy's house to have sex, aren't you? That's, that's your whole intention. No, different. it's not. I can hang out with a 12 year old, a 16 year old, an 18 year old. He was suspicious. He knew that he was up to no good because the on site decoy to Jesse looked a little older than 13. So he asked him for his ID. I think he thought he might be involved in investing. It was a rap on him. Uh, yeah. Everybody that's watching this, man. I'm going to get at y'all tomorrow, probably the next day, next day. All depends on. Well, I got to go to the dentist on Tuesday, so I'm going to be out of commission from like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, probably. But yeah, I'll get at y'all tomorrow, most likely. Y'all stay out the way, man. Recipes King Nipsey, DJ Ghost One.